back to our channel get place soon in this video we're going to discuss bind research we'll understand its approach its procedure how bind research works how to implement them and why not we use linear search its complexities and many more so please stay tuned till the end now as the name itself suggests bind research which means we are searching for an element suppose in this given array you're searching for an element 47 now how do you do that the easiest way is to iterate the whole array from left side right so we have six elements here and it is starting from the index 0 in arrays so we have 6 followed by 9 followed by 18 38 and then we found our element 47 this process of iterating each and every element in the array to search is known as linear search and the complexity of the linear search is o of n why because we are traversing through the entire array which gives the complexity of n Suppose in the worst case scenarios, the element will be in the last element. So you have to go from the first element till the last element that is n sized array. So O of n or suppose for the element you are searching is not present in the array. Then what happens? You will search the entire array and then you will declare element is not present. And in that worst case also, the time complexity is O of n. So to reduce this complexity, we have bind research. Bind research is an efficient searching algorithm that works on sorted arrays. Sorted arrays means either the elements are in increasing order or in decreasing order instead of being random. So how binary search works? Binary search repeatedly divides the search interval into half. How? I'll tell you. Basically in the given array as it is in the sorted order, we'll find the middle element. After finding the middle element, we will compare the middle element with the element that is being searched. When we compare it, we'll understand it will be less than middle element or it is greater than middle element which eliminates half of the remaining elements at each step so we will reduce the search space significantly if you don't understand don't worry let's take an example and look into it so for example you have a sorted array so for example you have a sorted array in that you have to find the middle element of the array then which element you are searching that is the target element now you we compare the middle element with the target element if the middle element is equals to target, then it is well and good. We found the element successfully. We will return the index of the target. Now, if the middle element is greater than the target, then we will narrow our search to the left half of the array. Why? It says target will be in the left of the array because middle element is greater. It is in the ascending order, right? If the middle element is less than target, then we narrow the search to the right half of the array because the target will be after middle. Okay, we repeat this four and five steps again and again, again and again until we found the target or what if there is no target value available on the array. So we will repeat the steps four and five until the search interval becomes empty. Now before looking at the implementation and the example, I just wanted to say from childhood, whenever we used to find the middle value, we used to do left plus right by two midpoint in circles and so left plus right by two we used to do. but in programming, when you do left plus right by 2, the first, the sum is calculated. The sum of left and right is calculated. Then with the result, the division by 2 happens. What if the sum of left and right is very large? Or if the left and right are both large numbers, their sum could be exceed the maximum value of integer that can be stored in the integer data type. Then what happens? Then we might get issues like overflow or we might get issues like incorrect results. So in order to get rid of that, let's write left plus right by 2 in a different manner left plus right minus left by 2 will give you the same result so in programming to get rid of overflow errors do left plus right minus left by 2 to find the middle element now moving ahead let's take an example and see how binary search works in this sorted array so here we have six elements and the target is 47 we are searching for the element 47 so we have left and right pointers left is the first element of the array and right is the last element of the array now the first step calculating the middle of the array to calculate middle of the array as i told you left plus right minus left by two left index is zero right index is number of elements six n minus one five why n minus one because in arrays indexing starts from zero so left index is zero right index is five so the mid becomes 0 plus 5 minus 0 by 2 that is equals to 2. So the mid value is 18. Now next going to the next step we will compare mid and target. 18 is less than 47. So mid is less than target. 
then what we will do we will shift our search to the right part of the array right side of the array so in order to shift it how do you write in programming left is equal to mid plus 1 and right pointer will be the same this is right side of the array i am not telling about the example generally what if you are supposed to shift to the left side of the array if you have to shift to the left side of the array then the left pointer will be the same but you update right with mid minus 1 i repeat if it is right side of the array you update left is equals to mid plus 1 if it is left side of the array you update right with mid minus 1 always remember this is the conditions we will also look into the code while we are writing it now you can see the red box here that is the search space now so you have the left pointer as 3 right pointer as 5 and again we perform binary search to perform binary search again in this red box we have to find the middle element left plus right minus left by 2 Three plus five minus three by two. That gives you four. Now going to the index four, that is nothing but forty-seven. When you get this mid value, compare mid and target. Forty-seven is equals to forty-seven. Mid value is equals to target value. The search successful. So we return four as an output. So we finally found our element in this array. Now let's see how to do this in programming. Generally, I am. decided to tell you two approaches of uh, implementing binary search one is in the iterative approach and the other is in recursive approach so let's get started with the iterative approach first we have our binary search function in that in the main function we are creating an integer array which is in the sorted manner you can see like 6 9 18 38 and so on in the increasing sorted order after that we are creating an integer variable target and we are assigning some value now our job is to say if this value is present in the above array or not if it is present we will return the index value if it is not present we will print element not found in the array now we are creating one more variable result and we are passing array and the target values to the function into this function binary search iterate so when you get the result from this function you will print the index if it is there if it is not there you will print element not found in the array now let's understand our main function that is the binary search iterative function as you can see here you have two things one is the integer array and the target is passed now to perform binary search you need two pointers one is left pointer and the right pointer left being the leftmost element that is zero index in the array starts from zero and the right will be the last element of the array array dot length minus 1 moving ahead we have a while loop here and inside while loop we have a condition to get into the while loop we have a condition left less than or equal to right so this condition is used to determine if there is a still valid portion of the array to be searched for suppose left to becomes greater than right it means search interval is no more valid and algorithm should stop searching okay so left less than or equal to right means there is some search space to be searched so if this condition satisfied we will go inside the while loop and then we calculate the middle element to calculate the middle element as we discussed earlier we have the formula left plus right minus left by 2 after that you can see there are three conditions in the if else statements right first condition if array of mid is equal to target well and good we will return the index we will return the mid value over if array of mid is less than target then we will update the left pointer as mid plus 1 which means we are searching in the right part of the array or else if array of mid is greater than target that is we update the right as mid minus 1 which means we are supposed to search in the left part of the array this is very clearly written in the if else statements so this while loop runs until all elements are traversed or until we find our target elements index once the while loop is completed and you still didn't found the index of the target element then we will return minus 1 which means element not found so the result of this function will go to the main function and it will print out so this is how you implement binary search in iterative manner now let's see how to implement it in recursion now getting started with the recursion step in the recursion also you use the main function in the main function the same we are creating a sorted increasing array then followed by we are creating a target integer with a value 47 that has to be searched in the above array and we are creating a result variable and in that we are uh, passing four things here directly to the function name binary search recursive array target value left pointer and the right pointer so the left pointer will be 
the first element of the array the right pointer will be the last element of the array array dot length minus one after that you go to the function from the function you will get the result you will print the result if you found the element then you will print the index value of the target element if you didn't found the element you will print element not found in the array now let's go to the main part that is the binary search recursive function we have four parameters the array the target left and right pointers now the same condition is that left plus than or equal to right now what is the difference between iterative implementation and recursive implementation is in the iterative implementation we used a while loop but in the recursive implementation as you already know there are two things one is a base case and the recursive case the base case is a condition till when the recursion happens and the recursive case is a case where the function calls itself recursively so the base case condition is left less than or equal to right so if left less than or equal to right then only the recursion process happens the remaining part happens the binary search happens so you know what is that condition already left less than or equal to right means there is some kind of valid search space still available to be searched for the target element now once we get into this condition we'll calculate the middle element that is left to plus right minus left to by two after that we will compare if array of middle element is equal to target we will return the index of middle element that is return mid now here comes our recursive cases so listen properly in the else if statements you have if array of middle element is less than target then we have to shift to the right part of the array right the search space shifts to the right part of the array in order to do this this is recursion right so we call the function again we call this binary search recursive function again with the same parameters array target but we are updating the left parameter with middle plus one and right be the same again now you can see in the else statement which means if array of mid is greater than target then what you will do the same function you are calling again binary search recursive function with the same parameters array target left but you are updating the right as middle minus one which means you are or making your search space to the left part of the array here in the else if and else statements you are making recursive calls so in the recursion there are two things the base case that is the left less than or equal to right is the condition in the recursive case you are calling the recursive functions again and again when array of mid is less than target or array of mid is greater than target once you found the target element in the array you will have return it if you have not return it and the if condition iteration is done then then we'll come out the whole if part then we will return minus one saying that the element is not found so the result from this function will go to the main function and the result is printed out this is how we implement binary search using recursion now let's talk about the time complexities and space complexity of both iterations the time complexity of both iterative and recursive is o of log n why the time complexity of binary search both iterative and recursive is o of log n where n is the size of array this is because in each step the search interval is half reducing the number of remaining elements to consider so in every step we are either concentrating only on the left side of that part or right side part so we are reducing in each and every step right so the time complexity is log n logarithm it n now speaking about the space complexity the space complexity of recursive implementation is o of log n why because of the recursion stack so whenever you make recursive calls to the function itself calling the same function again and again all those calls are stored in a stack so to store that for the stack the space complexity becomes o of log n whereas in iterative approach in iterative implementation the space complexity is o of 1 that is constant space because we are not using any extra space so that is it from my side i hope you understood this video if you like it please like it and share it with your friends if you have any doubts feel free to comment below thank you so much for watching till the end bye bye